welcome to the Billiard Learning Center. I'm Bob Nunley, PBIA instructor and CTE Pro 1 instructor. Today we're going to answer a few questions that some students have had about how to determine which pivot to take when using CTE Pro 1. I'm going to set up some simple shots in all four reference ranges and show you a basic way to find which pivots you should use. This first shot is a basic 15 degree reference with a left pivot. Now, if I weren't sure what pivot to use, then I would simply go back behind the object ball, look at my shot line, where should I contact this if I were using ghost ball? Rotate this around. It's a little thicker than my 15 degree reference. So I know that I have to thicken my reference up, which in this case, is a left visual sweep. Now we're going to take a little different shot. This is still going to be a 15 degree reference, but if I go behind the ball and I look at where my contact area is, it's a little bit thinner than the center to edge reference, so it must be a right visual sweep. There's really nothing to say about a 30 degree reference because a 30 degree reference is always going to be an inside or in this case a left visual sweep. So now let's just move on to the 45 degree reference. I can see that if I go to my old ghost ball I know that this is going to be a little bit thicker than my normal 45 degree reference. So this would have to be an outside, or what I like to call a strong visual sweep. In this case, a right sweep. Now this is a little thinner cut. If I looked at my ghost ball position, I could see that this is thinner than my normal 45 visual perception. So I'd get on my perception and I would use an inside or a left visual sweep to weaken the cut. So let's go thinner yet. This is a 60 degree reference, but I can see once again, if I put my into my cue where my center of my ghost ball should be, that this is going to be a little thicker than my 60 degree reference. So I find my 60 degree reference and I take an outside or a right visual sweep to thicken up the cut. And this cut is very close to 80 to 85 degrees. So I can see by my ghost ball position that it's going to be thinner than my normal 60 degree reference, so I would have to use a left visual sweep to weaken or thin out the cut. So this is a left and inside 60. That may seem like an oversimplification, but if you look at the contact area and determine whether you need to thicken or thin the shot from the reference, to make it, that will tell you which Pro 1 sweep to use. If you have any questions, again, just ask for more videos and I'll do everything I can to post them up. Thanks and have a great day.